Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Muggle Magic. Have you ever wanted to write with a quill but didn't want to put forth the effort or skill to actually meticulously draw a font perfectly? That's, that's great because this video we're making self-writing quills from Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. This project was requested by the headmistress on my Patreon account. Basically, the headmistress or headmaster gets to decide a DIY for me to do every single month. So this month, I'm doing self-writing quills by Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. So a lot of people have been asking how I design my stuff. Photoshop. I've been using Photoshop for a really long time. Like, I started using Photoshop in 2002, 2001. So it takes a really long time to get to the point where you're just comfortable with all of it and you know what you're doing. Now, this video was sponsored by Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning community for creators. It has more than 25,000 classes in design and business and, and other things. If you want to learn how to use Photoshop and you don't wanna teach yourself, Skillshare is a really good option for you because you don't have to go to a class like physically and you don't have to enroll, you don't have to pay tuition, basically, um, a premium membership gives you unlimited access so you can join the classes and communities that are just right for you and your new year goals. Whether you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity, or even your career, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving in 2019. Now I did find uh, an introductory Photoshop class on Skillshare that looks perfect for anybody who just kind of wants to get to know the program and, and wants an introduction where you basically don't know anything, this is what you want. If you wanted to pay tuition to learn graphic design at school, it's gonna cost you a lot of money. Skillshare is actually really affordable though, and um, it's an annual subscription of less than $10 a month. So you can join more than 7 million creators with Skillshare. Now the first 500 of my subscribers to use my link in the description box below, to, uh, you will get two months free. So if you are interested, make sure you check out the description box below pretty quick because like I said, it's only for the first 500 people to click that link. Anyways, if you do enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like down below, uh, share this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. All of these actions really do help the channel and are greatly appreciated. That set aside, go ahead and check out the description box below for a list of all the supplies you're gonna need to make this DIY, as well as download links to the free templates. Anyways, let's get into the DIY. So the first thing you want to do is download and print my templates. There are a few different versions of these templates. Um, this one is the 11 by 17 version, which I'm going to be making in this video today. I also have eight and a half by 11 templates, which you can, if you do that, you're going to have to piece them together. I also have um, legal size ones, which also you're going to have to piece together. And then I also have a very large template, which um, is available in 11 by 17, eight and a half by 11, and legal size paper. And those you're going to have to piece together because it's a lot larger. Now, the reason for this is this template is a bit easier, which is why I'm showing it in this video. But um, there are a few different uh, kinds of feathers. So I ordered these feathers. These are pheasant tail feathers and they're perfect for this size. However, I also ordered larger feathers, which would probably be more like the actual movie prop. And yeah, as you can see, these are much larger. They're not going to fit on this template. So I designed a larger template that you'll have to piece together if you want to use the larger size feathers. So, like I said though, in this video today, I'm just gonna be using this, but the method is gonna be exactly the same uh, once you get the template piece together if you're using the larger one. So uh, this was printed on 11 by 17 cardstock. Uh, you don't have to print it on cardstock, you could print it on regular paper and then uh, adhere it to some car uh, I'm sorry, some cardboard. That would work. If you're gonna be piecing together the larger one, I definitely recommend putting it on cardboard so that it's thicker and it's easier to piece together. 
So for this, uh, we're just gonna simply cut this thing out and I'm gonna use a ruler and X-Acto knife to do this. So we're just gonna line up the ruler with the edge that we wanna cut. And then we're gonna take our X-Acto knife and just follow along that edge of the ruler. And then you'll get a nice straight cut. So yeah, just go ahead and cut off all of the white space from around your templates. Now, if you're using, like I said, one of the templates that you need to piece together, go ahead and cut off all the white space. And then at that point, you're going to just kind of line it up and glue it together. So I'm not gonna show that in this video because that's not what I'm doing, but it's pretty simple. Just line it up, glue it together. So now you should just have the template like this. And we're gonna put feathers on each one of these. We have uh, Roman small caps, italic, condensed, bold, and extra bold fonts. If you look at the images of this thing, there's it's actually hanging on the wall uh, with a an orange shoelace is what it looks like to me. So I've ordered a bright orange shoelace and that's what we're gonna do here. So just go ahead and take your hole punch and you're gonna put a hole punch on um, this side right here. And then you're also gonna put another hole punch right on the inside of this corner here. As you can see, the hole punches are just right on the inside of that border on each side. Now that that's done, you can take your orange shoelace and we're just gonna pull part of it through here on one side and then you want to tie a small knot right here. And that should be big enough that it's not gonna come through when you pull on it. And then you can take the other side of the shoelace, we're going to feed it through this hole and you're gonna keep pulling it and keep pulling it until you get about this much right here is what you want. Cause it's, it just needs to be enough for it to hang on your wall and, and look about like this. So again, we're going to tie a knot in this side to keep it from uh, going back through the hole. So now that both sides are, uh, they have a knot in them, they're not coming back through the hole, we can take a pair of scissors and just cut the shoelace off. On both sides. And you should have quite a bit of extra shoelace. So if you want to make more than one of these, you should have enough to make maybe two or three. Now you should have this and then the display should look a bit like this. Now the next thing we want to do, if you look at the images, there are feathers kind of um, attached to this display. Maybe about two feathers or so per each one of these little blocks of color. So we're going to take our feathers and we're going to attach them in there. And um, according to the image, it looks like they're attached in there with gold twist ties. So that's what I ordered. And again, all the links are gonna be in the description box if you wanna find where I bought what I'm using. What we need, what the idea is, we're going to take these twist ties and we're going to use them to basically twist tie feathers to attach to this display. And as you can see, it's sort of a, a little variety of feathers, which is what I liked about the smaller ones. Um, the larger ones are basically all the same color, um, which is okay, but I liked the variety of small ones, which is why I wanted to go with the smaller template. And again, these are pheasant tail feathers. So um, if you're trying to find them, you can use my link. If my link isn't working, you wanna look up pheasant tail feathers. So I'm gonna use these two tail feathers for this first one and they're just gonna be attached just like that. Now the way I'm going to attach them is by popping holes in this with a small nail. Um, you could use anything you want to pop these holes, but I found that a small nail works pretty well to um, feed this twist tie through. So I need to put four small holes because there's gonna be two twist ties. Each one is going to be sort of wrapped around. So there should be four holes and you'll see what I mean in just a moment. So we'll do one, two, three, four. And I can go ahead and do this all the way down right now. Um, so I'm gonna do four holes in each one of these. And there, now as you can see, I have my four holes on each one of these all the way down to the bottom. 
So we'll take our first two feathers, we'll take our gold twist tie, and I'm gonna cut this gold twist tie in half because it's much too long to use for just uh, one feather for this entire twist tie. So let's cut this in half. So now we should have two twist ties, two smaller ones. So then we're just gonna feed each end of this through the back of the template. So there, we've got one part coming through here and I'm gonna feed another part through right there. There we go. So this is what you want right here. Um, we have two ends coming out through these two holes and then two ends coming out through these two holes. And I'm going to use this to, to attach feathers here and here. And we're gonna do this all the way down. But first, let's go ahead and put the feathers on here. So the first feather will just place the end of the quill right here where we have the gold twist tie and then you want to get it nice and tight so that the feather stays attached and just twist it and there we go that should be good right there and then we'll take the next quill and place it right below and we're going to twist that one on here too So there we go, now we have two quills twist tied right on there and that's exactly where we want them. So now it's just a matter of deciding which quills you want and just go ahead and attach them all the way down. So let's go ahead and do that. So once you have all of your feathers on here, your display should look like this. And that is it. If you'd like a chance at winning the self-writing quills that I made in this video today, there's a giveaway link in the description box below for the monthly giveaway. Speaking of giveaways, a lot of you are probably wondering what my next big giveaway is because I usually have a big giveaway for different milestones for the channel. Well, my next one is going to be a 45K giveaway. And this is for a Gilderoy Lockhart pop figure, a signed portrait framed of Gilderoy Lockhart, and his quiz for defense against the dark arts. Now that is my 45K giveaway. Anybody who wants to enter it, again, the link's in the description box below. You'll find other giveaway links down there too, including my 50K giveaway. And this is going to be for a Muggle Magic Mystery Box. And this is gonna be a little bit different than the ones that I've had in the past because um, all of the other items other than the two mystery items are going to be things that I've gotten in uh, subscription boxes because as you know, if you follow my channel, I get so, many subscription boxes. I do a lot of unboxings and I just can't keep every little item. So I've decided to take this out and handpick things to put into boxes for you guys. So um, you might get things from Accio Box, from Geek Gear, Loot Crate, Gobstone Alley. You could get things from any of those boxes, probably a mix of everything. You're gonna get a t-shirt and all the t-shirts are medium size as well. Now on top of that, you're gonna get five items from just a, a, a mix of all those boxes. You're also going to get two items that I've designed myself and I have not released on my channel. So these are the mystery items that you're gonna get from me. Five from uh, the subscription boxes that I've opened on my channel and two of my own design, which have not been uh, released on my channel. And I'm not gonna release the DIYs or even hint at what they are until after the box is won and received. Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. So if you have an idea for something that you want to see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.